Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Active Directory in Windows Server 2019. In this video, we will see the process of implementing a new forest for an Active Directory environment using Windows Server 2019. This will be done initially by installing the Active Directory domain service role and then by promoting the server to be the first domain controller for a new forest. At the same time, we will also install the DNS server role to use Active Directory integrated DNS zones. But before proceeding ahead, we need to verify certain things like you must have an administrative privilege on a server, set up server with a static IP address and change the Windows server name according to your company's naming standard. So first, let's verify all this checklist and then we will move forward. So this is the our Windows Server 2019 and I'm going to open Saw Manager. At the Saw Manager, I'm going to click on Local Server. And as you can see, our computer's name is WS2K19-DC01. In the last video demonstration, we have performed some basic configuration tasks on the server and in that, those tasks were included. As you can see, my computer is already configured with a static IP address, which is 172.1.8.72.5. Let's click on it. I'm going to select the net adapter, select properties, and select internet protocol version 4 and click on properties. Here, the important thing is that uh, on a preferred DNS server address, as you can see, the server is configured to use its own IP address as a preferred DNS server as we also want to install DNS server role on this computer. So that's why this IP address is set as a preferred DNS server. Let's close this. And in a PowerShell, as you can see, C colon slash users slash administrator, that indicates we have currently logged in to this server as an administrator. Still, we want to confirm it. And for that, I'm going to run command, who am I? As you can see, ws2k19-dc01 slash administrator. So we have administrative privilege on the server as well. The process is done in a two steps. First one, we need to install Active Directory domain service role and then we need to promote the server as a domain controller. So let's uh, go back to Saw Manager and uh, I'm going to click on Manage and here we have uh, options to add rules and features. So let's click on it. On before you begin screen, certain uh, things are there that we need to verify before you continue. Like administrator account has a strong password, network settings, and the most uh, current security updates. Let's click on next. Here we have a uh, two options for this installation. We need to select rule base or feature base installation. Let's click on next. Uh, we have only one server and that is WS2K19-DC01 and we want to install the role on the same server. So let's select our local server and then click on next. Here we have uh, options to select server role and in our case it will be uh, Active Directory Domain Service. So I'm going to select Active Directory Domain Services. It is also gives one pop-up box where it is asking us that it also need certain features to run Active Directory Domain Service properly. Do you want to include? Yes, we also want to include those features as well as include management tools as well. Let's click on Add Features. And at the same time, we also want to install DNS Server role. So I'm going to select this checkbox as well. Let's again click on Add Features and then click on Next. Next again, next again, next again. And now I'm going to click on install. As you can see, Act Directory Domain Service Server Role installation has been completed successfully. Now here we have options to promote this server to a domain controller. So let's click on promote this server to a domain controller link that will start Active Directory Domain Service Configuration Wizard. By using this wizard, you can promote the server to be a domain controller. Here, we have a total three options. 
if you want to add domain controller to an existing domain, that time you have to select the first one. If you want to add a new domain to an existing forest, that time you need to select the second box. And if you want to create a new forest, that time you need to select the third one. So we are going for a new forest. That's why I'm going to select add a new forest. Now here you need to specify the name of your root domain. For this demonstration, I'm going to use mylab.local as a root domain name. Once you specify your root domain name, click on next. Here we have to select the functional level of our forest as well as a root domain. So our forest functional level, as you can see, it is set to by default Windows Server 2016. And we are deploying new forest. That's why I want to use the maximum available forest functional level. As you can see, it is Windows Server 2016. And domain functional level, let's verify, do we have options for Windows Server 2019 functional level? No, we have only one options and that is Windows Server 2016. So at the time of this video recording, here we don't have options to select forest functional level and domain functional level to Windows Server 2019. We have a maximum forest functional level is Windows Server 2016. Under specific domain controllers capability, as you can see, DNS is already selected as well as global catalog because we are promoting this server as a first domain controller in a new forest. And that's why these two checkboxes are already selected and it is gray out. Now we need to specify directory service restored mode password. Okay, now click on next button. Click on next again. We have selected mylab.local as our root domain and that's why you can see a NetBIOS domain name is mylab. If you don't want this NetBIOS name for your domain, you can change as per your requirement. But I'm happy with this NetBIOS name, so I'm going to click on next. Here we have uh, options to specify the location of Active Directory database, log files and syswall. We are going to use the default location and that's why I'm going to click on next button. So this is the, all the selection review information that we are going for a new domain which is mylab.local and this is also the name of our new forest. Our NetBIOS name is mylab. Forest and domain functional levels are set to Windows Server 2016. We have selected global catalog as well as a DNS server. And this is the path for your database, log files and a sysfold folder. If you want to change anything, then you can click on previous button and change those settings. And if you are happy with the selection, you can click on next to start installation. And this green box means we can start installation. So let's click on install. When the Active Directory post installation configuration process completes, your server will restart automatically. Now press Ctrl to delete key to unlock our server. And now the most important thing is there, instead of only administrator, now we can see mylab slash administrator is there. The only reason is that because now this server is promoted as a domain controller. Now first of all, I'm going to open server manager. And I'm going to click on tools. And here we have the management consoles. By using those consoles, we can manage our Active Directory domain services. So first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory users and computers console. Okay, here we go. Here we have mylab.local and that is the name of our domain. Let's right click there and select properties. Here we can see our domain functional level and forest functional level is there, Windows Server 2016. Let's minimize it. And now I'm going to open DNS Management Console. So let's click on Tools and select DNS. I'm going to expand my server, which is WS2K19-DC01. And under Forward Lookup Zone, you can see two active directory integrated DNS zones are there, underscore msdcs.mylab.local and mylab.local. 
I'm going to create one reverse lookup zone as well. So let's right click on reverse lookup zones and select new zone. Click on next. We want to select primary zone as well as active directory integrated. Click on next. We are happy with this. Click on next. Happy version 4 reverse lookup zone. Next again. And now I'm going to specify the network ID. Here it will be your first three octet of your IP address. Which is 172.1.8.72 in my case. Let's click on next. Next again and finish. So now as you can see we have a reverse lookup zone with a startup authority and name server entry. Let's click on mylab.local zone and this is the our host record for our domain name. I'm going to select this checkbox update associated pointer record. Click on apply and click on OK. Now let's again click on our reverse lookup zone and hit refresh. Okay here we have a pointer record as well. Fine let's close the DNS console and I'm going to open network connection console. Okay let's click on local server. I'm going to click on this IP address. Right click on your Ethernet adapter, select properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, click on Properties and here you can see under Preferred DNS Server Address 127.0.0.1 IP address is there because now this server is acting as a DNS server. I'm going to remove this and instead of I'm going to put 172.1.8.72.5 which is the IP address of our server and this IP address is a Preferred DNS Server. Click on OK, click on close and close this console. I'm going to open PowerShell and at the PowerShell I'm going to run command nslookup. And here we go. Our default server is ws2k19-dc01.mylab.local and uh, IP address is there. That is 172.18.72.5. Now I'm going to type mylab.local. And we are getting an answer that mylab.local is IP address is 172.1.8.72.5. Uh, I'm going to specify the IP address as well. And we are also getting the answer for the same as well that 172.1.8.72.5 PTR record is belong to ws2k19-dc01.mylab.local. So this is the way how we can set up Active Directory Domain Service on Windows Server 2019. Now the server is ready to act as a domain controller. In the next video, we will see how we can join a Windows 10 computer to this domain. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.